A good weave is when it looks natural. When you move, it just moves. That's what makes a good weave. When your bangs are on fleek. Yes, I did that. And look at Sister Countess giving us a word on today. This kinky straight wig, oh, she's going to move. Definitely want to show you guys all about the new wig caps because they're all the rage and you need them so check the video menu check the description box and the pinned comments you know i got you but let's get into today's video okay this is not your average 360 lace wig right at the crown the lace has darts so your unit is going to fit more comfortably and more snug and that's what we want. And this unit even includes a three part drawstring. It's clear, it's elastic, and it gives you a more customizable fit, especially in the area of the nape. Now look at that pre-plugged hairline. It's lightly pre-bleached. How do you guys feel about those knots? Let me know in the comments below. But look at the back of this wig. This is the type of wig you purchase when you want your homegirl to style it in an updo that they, you know the ones they've been doing on Instagram? I've been seeing those and they look damn good. With a wig like this, you have to co-wash it. And I like to allow them to air dry. Plus, I know I'm going in to use my one-step volumizer to give that nice, silky blowout. Stop using that blow dryer and get you a volumizer. It makes a difference and it's so much easier. Before I get started, I have to trim the lace at the nape and around the ear tabs because it fits so much better. And I realized even though this unit has an adjustable elastic band, I really don't need it. I'm not going to be wearing the unit up and it's just more comfortable without the band. Now let's talk about those wig caps. Yeah. See, the wig caps they're sending you, we gotta throw those away. Even OMG Her Hair has to step their game up. These are the typical wig caps that you get with your order or even at the beauty supply store. But do you see that new wig cap? Let me talk to you real quick. This new wig cap is changing the game. It's thin as hell and I love it. You can see the clear difference. Which one would you use for your install? Talk to me in the comments, but let's try these on because I really need you to see how different they are. I'm going with the new bald wig cap. That's what I'm gonna call it, the bald wig cap, because it's basically giving bald. I'm gonna cleanse the skin with toner, not alcohol, please. Y'all know why. And next, I'm going to be applying the Bold Hold Liquid Gold. This is to slick my hair back. And once I adjust the position of the wig cap to my liking, you guys will see this allows the cap to set in my desired position. So what are some of the cons of using the new bald wig cap? They run very easily. I just made a small incision right around the ear. The material was running, so just keep that in mind. Now, the first application of Bold Hold Liquid Gold is optional, but I wanted to use the same liquid gold and apply this because this is what's going to secure the cap in place. When I tell you, you need to get your hands on the Bold Hold Liquid Gold, please stop playing. If you like glueless methods, this is it. Just let it set for about 15 minutes, or you can use your blow dryer to expedite the process. And you know I'm difficult and extra. So of course I tried to sew the back of the cap because I just don't like it to move. But again, you don't have to do this because the material on this wig cap, girl, she running like a track star. So it's probably best to not do it. The same way that you might cut slits into your lace, do the same for your wig cap, especially since I have to cut away the excess and it's a cleaner cut. And trust me, if you allow the bowl hold liquid gold enough time to dry, it's not going anywhere, okay? I'm just sealing the edge, which I will do across the entire front perimeter of the wig cap. Got money 
I love that you can use the Bold Hold Liquid Gold to seal off the edge of the wig cap. You just need a very thin layer and I love using the rat tail comb. It works perfectly, especially if you can't get your hands on the makeup spatula. If the wig cap is a little bit too light, we can do things like use pressed powder to tint the lace. This pressed powder is working fine just for a subtle tint. Now mind you, keeping this install neat is my number one priority, so I'm taking some of that witch hazel or toner just to clean up any excess dried product. I had to pull out the makeup spatula for this step right before I intend to position my lace in place, and I'm applying a very thin layer. This better allows you to maintain the position of the wig as we move through the rest of the install process. With a 360 wig, you get a lot of lace around the perimeter, so it's really good to make sure that you customize the fit and remove any excess, especially around the ears, before this step. Now that my unit is in position, I'm following up with the hardhead spray. Yeah, don't be hardheaded and not get this spray. This is one of the products I highly recommend that the girls get. People are always asking me on Instagram, what spray is that, what spray is that? I need the girls to know. Whenever you see me using that spray, that silver can, hardhead spray, most definitely. And when using the blow dryer, I prefer the cool setting. And you don't have to overdo it because this product starts to dry down almost instantly. Now on the left side of this unit, the cap was a little bit exposed near the ear tab, but that's okay. You can always finesse. Don't worry about it. Mistakes happen, but one thing about it, I'm gonna keep moving and it's still gonna slay. Now only once the spray has dried completely, after about like three to five minutes, I'm gonna apply this elastic band. I need the ultimate meltdown because you can't put a bust down on and it not be melted to perfection. And girl, please talk to me nice or don't talk to me twice. She look clean and she look good. Get into it. In the same way that we trimmed the excess wig cap, I'm gonna do the same for the lace on this wig, but be gentle. Don't be cutting up the forehead. Make sure you check out OMG Her Hair because this unit is gorgeous. One thing I will say is it's a lot of hair. So if you love a ton of hair, this is for you. But if you can adjust the density, please do it so that it suits your preference. But a braid out on this, gorgeous. Oh my God, ooh, gorgeous. Here I'm using the rat tail and the fine teeth on the comb to break the cast on the hair from the hold spray. And this just allows me to have a little bit more flexibility with the hair when I go in to do the adult swoops. And I know the hairline is looking a little harsh. You see that white line of demarcation, but trust me, I mean, seriously, you trust me, right? I'm going in with the makeup spatula and a little bit of the hard head spray. And this is what will melt the very front edge of the lace into the skin. My biggest advice for doing adult swoops is use less hair then you think you might need. It'll honestly turn out better. And if you feel like there's a line of demarcation from the wig cap, you can swoop the hair 
so as to disguise the edge of the wig cap. It happened to me here. I'm gonna disguise it by way of adult swoops. I'm a finesse. -er. So we got to this point in the video. I did a live and I had some more makeup goodies to give away. And I got like a wig. I think I want to give away a crochet wig. If that sounds like your vibe, drop it in the comments and let me know some of the habits or routines you've implemented for the new year. There's no pressure to do anything different, but something that you find that's working for you. Put us on, I love that. The Glamorous Queen is all dolled up and yes, I'm going in to straighten the hair and my flat iron is set to 380 degrees. This is a lot of hair. And when you just use the volumizer, you get a bit more volume. And with more heat styling by way of the flat iron, you still have that texture, which I love. This is a great texture, but honey, she was swinging, okay? and I wore this for seven days, okay? I'm spacing out my wig installs because I don't got time and I need to start coming back and doing updates on these wigs. So if you agree, let me know in the comment section. But again, I have to tell y'all, I did a braid out on this unit, let it set overnight, it looked so good just do two pigtails and braid the ends okay look i know sister countess would be proud because this hair it moves when you move just like that okay make sure you save some coins okay one thing i love is when the girls use those coupon codes so you can save some money but drop down in the comments and let me know you're gonna get them new wig caps because the ones you've been using they're old of course you can use pantyhose, but girl, these wig companies about to start sending y'all the real deal wig caps. Thank you so much for tuning in. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Share this with your homeboys and your homegirls and join the conversation. I love to hear from you and I hope I see you in the next one.